کنید You say we share this over in the lounge? Oh, I certainly why. I don't see why not. I mean, it's not as though I've got something to do that isn't that. And anyways, I oughtn't have looked back. I mean, the moral of the story is to not look back when you are told not to look back. You understand, don't you, my friend? Don't look back, huh? I'll try not to. Though you can't be blamed for doing it yourself just the one time. What happened to you, it wasn't fair, if you ask me. I quite enjoyed our outings, Agrius, so I suppose I shall be seeing you around. Take care, mate. Orpheus, sorry to interrupt, it's just I couldn't help but notice that new ballad that you're playing there. Technically, why not consider it a hymn, my friend? In honor of your numerous travails, prior to your current set of circumstances, which must pale in comparison to all the rigors you've endured to date. Um, the thing is, none of the information in your hymn is accurate. It's nonsense. I was just kidding with you, mate. I tried to make that clear. You get so lively when I tell you my tall tales, you know? You're not angry with me, are you? Heavens no, my friend. Your humility is matched only by your perseverance in the face of adversity. May your great deeds live on forever, much like you. Um, cheers. Oh, what's this?
singer if we need one what are you doing to this house her didn't he mother i mean faith like that he's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her isn't he though what she saw in him i'm not sure your father was different with persephone to some extent he has always been as you know him yet her lightness it affected even him i think and he knows that he was better with her than without Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. But it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you and Cerberus. She said she misses you. She did, did she? Thank you for waiting. Good for Achilles. live a little uh, such as you're able I won't tell if you won't tell the fallen warrior in Elysium we spoke of he seems like a good man though was he always the despondent sort no lad I was that sort I think but he was not he was one of the only men I knew who did not look upon me as a threat he saw something in me I never knew was there and in turn with him I felt how to describe it? Calm. Whole. Huh. I'm restless all the time. I can only imagine. He had this wry humor about him, like he was wise beyond his years. A quality I trust shall see him through his struggles now. Although, I hoped residing in Elysium would mean he wouldn't have to struggle any longer. He shouldn't, sir. And neither should you. Um, Miss Dusa, I wanted to uh, cordially invite you to an outing in the lounge. Remember when you asked me about a drink? 
Exactly fit the mold of your traditional Gorgon. I mean, I have no body, for example. I had trouble finding work. Uh, that is until Lord Hades took me in, and then I met you, and well, I just love this job. Oh, I can definitely relate to at least some of that. Ah, I, I, I. Thanks, Your Highness. Prince, Prince Zagreus. It's bye for now. Question for you, Father. The name Kore happened to mean anything to you by any chance? What? Where did you... Ah, the cold witch brought it up to Chi. Never repeat that name again. Not here, nor anywhere, you hear me, boy. Know only this. The one called by that name despised it even more than I. So let's see. Demeter's daughter went missing. She wound up down here. I happened. Mother left. Demeter and everyone else on Olympus apparently has no idea. That about right? Tell me what happened. I'll tell you nothing. Keep meddling in matters that you cannot understand and you'll incur the wrath of Olympus on all that you hold dear. And know that it is not for my sake that I'm warning you. You can't hide the truth forever. What's for breakfast? Fair market value. You're serious? You're really giving that to me? I mean, I'll take it off your hands if that is really what you want. It's really what I want. And I sincerely hope we can move past our differences. Not that turning in this contraband has anything to do with that. Um, so about to Siphony, is, uh, everything all right with her? Talk of murder all the time and all. Tisiphony is charged with punishing the worst that mortals have to offer. More than charged. Her work is everything to her. No time for family or recreation, then I take it. Pity what happens to those overly obsessed with work. I get what you're insinuating, Zagreus. I'm nothing like her. I'm not even close. And don't you dare compare the two of us again. What's for sale? Here you go. Here's the gemstones, then. I always wanted. A delicately crafted instrument of music making now resides within the clamor causing Prince's chambers, doubtless fearing, if it could, his heavy handed touch. Can't be that hard to play, can it? for me.
going. Together we can achieve anything my father wants. I'm still definitely not thirsty. seen enough. What's up, boyo? My keepsakes. there. aspect of Achilles himself. Transform. Good to go. Care to accompany me? I'm ready. What are the limits of your power? My 
aspect of Koronok is stronger now. Hey, what just happened? Looking good. Business with you, Fates. My weapons have revealed their hidden power. Creatures forced to live in a cage ought to lighten the mood. Oh, hey. Those bats are for reconnaissance, not for your mood. Let's have a bat's eye view. What's life without a little pain? Poor Demeter, young man. I still wonder what became of her fair daughter. Ran away with mortals there, perhaps. Some of the tales even more preposterous. Don't go believing everything you hear. And do be sensitive about the subject, hmm? Demeter, she's been through quite enough.
has in his employ the greatest hero of the Trojan War. You happen to know anything about that? I'm kind of a fan. You see, Achilles, tell him he's the best for me. The dead had better hide. again, huh? Achilles, he continues to ignore my polite outreach, doesn't he? Why, I've attempted to reach out at least several times. Your father's realm is really quite a lot. How terribly frustrating it must be. Do not presume that you escape my notice, boy.
of Hades. Fury sisters. You mess with Tiss Red Blood, you mess with me. Get it? Sister left. I often lock you up with Tartarus. Next up, Asphodel. Just what I need. Which to choose?
still getting somewhere. Yeah, that wasn't Demeter this time here, boss. No, that was just me whisking to you in a flash. Makes for a little pleasant breeze, I think. Thought I'd drop in. Let's see who's better at this, Zagreus. All of you, prepare to die again. Not yet. <laughs> Zesty. I'm gone. Stop him, wretches. Keep an eye on Orpheus for me, all right, Arn? Sounds good, no problem. So good. See you. Take it easy.
me something. in the world can wither in a season, Zagreus. Remember that when next the goddess Aphrodite makes her promises. Truly are an idiot, aren't you? I'm out. That's quite enough. I'll take it. for souls across the river Styx. I'll rob you on your journey to the surface there, nephew. How about a different set of choices, then?
to eat. Say you look lovely this whatever time it is, Lenny. Can't do that. Got you. Constitute again.
going to want all this. Do leave my troops alone. There's no way that could have been one of the wiser choices that you've lately made. Might I suggest you take some extra steps to keep it that way? Hmm? to you as well, mate. Pleasure doing business. Thank you. 
things the planet care on. Soul sucking butterflies. So much of my short life alone, but now I'm just lingering in the middle of an experience where to return to all I could think of is a few bright glimpses that I spent at home by myself. Yeah. He's just as obstinate as ever, isn't he? Always refused to budge. He ever tell you of the war in which we fought? I fought, I should say. He could have ended it, but he refused to take up arms. Achilles hasn't been particularly forthcoming about his mortal days, no. So he wouldn't fight. I've heard that mortals sometimes frown on that, but why should he have fought if he didn't believe in the cause? He shared our cause. So what if it was not completely his? If not for his stubbornness, I... Well, I would have come here just a bit later, I think. He blames himself for what happened to you, you know. I figured he failed to defend you or something, not that he didn't fight at all. Although he said something about how, once you died, he shortly followed in a rage. I wouldn't know a thing about that, stranger, for you see, I was already dead. Getting my place here in the afterlife all sorted out took quite some time getting accustomed to all this. up on you, sir. There. Now leave me be.
should come in useful. That's better. To keen-eyed Artemis, who, in her focus on the hunt, has not developed social graces suitable enough to come to you herself. Social graces, she says, going about like that. I'm sure you know that I can find you when it's necessary, Zagreus. Though how to get away from Aphrodite, I have no idea. Oh yes. Spawn, come try. Today's show. I won again, Shade, thanks to your support. Be seeing all of you next time, all right? So stood the finest of Elysium. to the surface.
business. Enough here, thanks. I can use this.
she has made. Grant me strength. A special treat for Cerberus. One Satyr sack coming right up. Thank you, mate. Cerberus agrees the Sator Sack must be destroyed. See you, boy. Still don't understand. I have done virtually everything within my power to prevent this. All of it. For nothing. The fates were not content to saddle me within the earth. They mock me still. Maybe they just think you're in the wrong, and that you're an obstinate, overbearing, and miserable excuse for a husband and father. Don't you understand I'm trying to fix the problems you caused, since you're so unwilling to do it yourself? <sighs> you're right. I was unwilling. I made my choices in all this. I loved her, yes. I loved her terribly. But now, it seems I'm merely delaying the inevitable. Go then. Go to her. But should harm befall her, I shall bring my worst wrath upon whomever is to blame, including you. What? You're letting me go just like that? You're just afraid of getting struck down again. You're serious. Go. Before I reconsider. father. Wait, what is all this? Oh, Zagreus, I almost missed you. Truthfully, I hoped that I could make it a surprise. Make what a surprise? My arrival. 
I'm going. To your home. To Cerberus. Nix. Your father. You're... Really? Mother, you... You're serious. I am. Now, if you could just help me pack up my remaining things... Only a few loose odds I'm bringing, just in case. If we hurry, maybe you could join me. Rather than return the customary way. Not something a mother ever wants to see. Join you, but... Wait, how are you going to get back? I hadn't thought that far ahead. Just so happens I know somebody who can give us a ride. Charon? Doubtless he has pressing matters to attend to. So let's not keep him waiting any longer, son. Come on, then. <sighs> I'm still alive. But how? You're on the River Styx. No longer in the mortal realm entirely. I can't believe that this is happening. I know. My heart is racing. Nothing like a river journey to remind oneself that there's no turning back. Seriously. Though, even after all of this, it's like we only just met. I have so many questions for you still. We'll have plenty of time for them, I think. For now, best we keep quiet. Pretend we're just a couple of dead souls on their final voyage.
We're here. We're here. This is embarrassing, but I don't know the way to get back in. Except, you know, the customary way. That's quite all right. I do. In the name of Persephone the Queen, open the gates! I spent many days tending this garden. Or nights? Quite difficult to tell the time here. But it's held on longer than I would have expected. <gasps> Cerberus? <laughs> Persephone. I... Cerberus. I missed you so. And dutiful as ever, aren't you? I'm sorry. Know that I am sorry. Hades. You look tired. Though I am not the only one you ought to be apologizing to. I know. I know why. Why have you returned? If Olympus... If your mother discovers what happened... Not even Zeus... Not even he could stop what would transpire here. Oh, I have a thought or two about how we can settle that. Though I shall need for you and Zagreus to cooperate with me on a solution. Or, if you'd rather... I could just return the way I came. A solution? What, do you intend to have them over for Ambrosia? Not even you can fix a broken family, Persephone. You're right, Hades. I can't. Certainly not by myself. So are you going to help me or what? I would do anything that you would ask of me. Then first, talk to your son. Hmm. Zagreus, you have already met Persephone, our queen. I expect for you to show deference to her at all times. Wow, father, you called me by my name. What is this strange sensation that I feel? Perhaps it's this deference of which you speak. Oh, stop it, both of you. Don't make me regret this, Hades. Speak honestly with him. About yourself, not me. Go on. Yes, I... Zagreus. I know there have been times when I've let my mood reflect on you. I showed very little patience. Questioned your judgment, often when my own was flawed. Thus, I apologize to you, my son. I have no excuses, and I ask no forgiveness. What about the part where you lied to me about Mother? Do you apologize for that? Your foul moods and venting them on me. I've long since come to expect that from you, and I resented you for it. But I always thought you're honest. Your mother did not come here willingly when we originally met. When she left, believing you were stillborn, her decision was final. I believed that she was better off without the lot of us, Olympus included. Deceiving both of you, it tore against my being, but it needed to be done. Well, you didn't need to vent all that inner turmoil onto me throughout my life. Though, I think I understand. I only wish I could have understood sooner. So, uh, what now? I've grown so used to ransacking your domain, I think I'm really going to miss it. About that. Your ransacking revealed many flaws in our security. The types that never get into reports. Our reputation rides on there being no escape from here. Would you keep trying to break free? Not for my sake, but for this realm, for the Queen. Zagreus, 
If you keep fighting out of here, it shall help keep appearances that everything is as it always was. Question, Father. Let's say I accept. When next I reach the surface, is it still going to be you waiting up there? Ah, oh, boy. If you think for an instant that I shall go easier on you because of this, you'll soon learn otherwise. So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father, then? You have it half correct. Perhaps you'll also tend to my little cottage while you're in the area. The garden doesn't take much care at all. I'd like to keep the place in decent shape. In case I cannot suffer this for long. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just do the best you can. And clearly I've work to do as well. We have a lot of it ahead of us, I'd say. So, shall we get started then? Thus was Hades, feared ruler of the dead, reunited with his long-lost bride, Persephone, the queen. And together with their firstborn son, Prince Zagreus, they would go on to reign eternally beneath the earth in relative harmony. The queen's return marked an occasion of enthusiastic joy, so much as possible in that dark, gloom-filled realm of the dead. And even after all this time, Olympus never did discover what transpired there, in the Underworld. After all this time, it's only been a few days, but it's been good. Mother and father are back together, made some new friends, got this fancy painting. Easy. All is well in the Underworld. entirely get used to seeing us together like this. There you are. You hung the painting where I asked. Yes. Um, Mother, was it always custom in Father's house to secretly give nectar to those you care about? I guess it also could have been a thing on Olympus. Look, I wanted you to have this. I'm so glad I found you. Oh, Zagreus, you're so thoughtful, truly. Your father never permitted nectar out in the open, so I'd practically forgotten its savor. Though, just a moment. I have something for you, too. Oh, Mother, thank you. How has it been for you so far, Mother? Reacclimating to all this? You said before it was a struggle. It must be very strange being back, being in darkness all the time. You know, I think it's gone all right so far. Thank you for asking, son. Everyone has been quite welcoming. The darkness is a pleasant change of pace. And while the stress can be a little difficult to move in, I quite like it. That's good to hear. I have to admit I was a little worried you'd be desperate to return to your cottage by now. This place can be a little much. I'm sure it can. And I do miss my little cottage here and there, but... I think I'm through running away. There may be times when it is necessary, of course. But no matter how far you run, it doesn't make your problems go away. You taught me that, you know? I did. But I tried desperately to run away myself. Oh. Indeed. Greetings, Father. So, I can just head on out there again whenever I want. Don't need to stick to any rigid schedule. Your unpredictability is one of your assets. 
Our defenses must always be on guard. So yes, go about your business as you best see fit. And the Olympians are going to keep helping me, thinking I'm trying to get away from you to them. We can't keep this up with them forever, you know. I do. Your mother, the Queen, is working on that. Well, look at you, boy. Never seen you quite so perky, relatively speaking, of course. Big, tough guy like yourself. You must have missed Mother just as much as she missed you. Well, you've got plenty of time for catching up on things now. The monstrous, triple-headed beast of Hades would perhaps be overcome with pure emotion by the joyous circumstances, were he only capable of this. How dare you, sir? I am indebted to you, Zagreus, both for your friendship and embarrassment of generosity. And I, in turn, am indebted to you, Orpheus, for your calm demeanor and ability to accept life's greatest challenges. You inspire me, and I wish you the best. Say, Orpheus, I heard what must have been a song of yours. It went something, something in the blood. You know that one? It was amazing, mate. Oh, that one, yes, I know. I mean, it was a favorite, I was told, by those who listened to the music I created with my muse. It was a most productive time back when we were alive. Would you ever sing it again? I shall give it some thought, I think. Ah. How can I possibly accept such generosity, my child? Surely others whom you know are more deserving of such offerings. Nonsense, Nix. I want you to have it. You've always cared for me. I can't ever repay you for that. Persephone, the queen. She has returned. I scarce believe a child. You have brought her back to all of us. I scarce believe it, too. What happens now? Pick up the pieces and begin again. Together, let us find out. Sounds good. Achilles making the rounds. Such a kiss won't stay my whip when next we meet out there. You realize that, right? I realize it. And I hope you never change, mate. I hope you do. Just so I understand. Breaking through everything in your path, taking resources from your father's realm, trying to get through me. All officially part of the job description. I guess that's right. But before you ask, I'm not doing it for him. Well, I didn't think you'd have it in you to leave this place for good. But I didn't think you'd take responsibility for anything either. Anyway, we'll just have to kill each other more officially, I guess. We'll make it official, all right. Anything good? <laughs> Prince, I don't know what to say. I are you joking around with me, maybe? Oh, I am deadly serious, Dusa. Honest. It's for you. Um, Prince, so is it really true that you're staying with me and that you'll be working here officially, I guess? I, well, when you put it that way, yes, I guess it is. We're going to try and make it work like this for now. Well, you know what that means, don't you? We're official co-workers now. Isn't that so exciting? We can share our latest learnings, compare notes about the challenges we're up against, run into one another in the hall. Do so. We've been doing everything you said this entire time. But it is not the same. The entire field looks completely different now. You'll see. So, okay, bye! Bye. Ah, now this is something, lad. I'd hate to think that you've returned to bring me this just for my sake. Though I'm grateful, really. You've always been there for me, Achilles even when father pushed me away. 
This is nothing. I don't think I can ever repay you. The Queen is back. You did it, lad. You must have lots of catching up to do. Or patching up. And I'm to understand that your escape attempts, they are officially approved, isn't that so? That's so indeed, sir. Especially for now, at least. I'm going to keep on fighting to the surface. Helps me to vent a bit, and like Hypno says, it makes the underworld a better place. Though indirectly, I suppose. Well, then I look forward to working with you in a more formal capacity. And it is my sincerest hope that you, your mother, and your father learn to get on better with each other now. Thank you. It's mine as well. Why bother with such empty gestures, Zag? You've said you're getting out of here. Let's focus on that and leave me be. It's not an empty gesture, then. Besides, if I wasn't trying to stay focused, I'd be drinking it myself. So between us, all you're attempting to break out of here, over and over, you're now authorized to keep that up? Exposing weaknesses in underworld security, huh? Something like that. I guess I've gotten pretty decent about escaping from a place that's known for being inescapable. Let's me keep in touch with the other side of the family. Work with you from time to time. I have to say, I never thought I'd hear you talking about looking forward to working, Zag. You feeling all right? Spending too much time on the surface, maybe? Oh, I'm feeling fine. I never thought I was much good at anything, but if my fated purpose is to be a master of frustrating father's efforts to make everything strictly perfect, I think I'm okay with that. Well then, I'll be looking forward to working with you in a more official capacity, even if we're still supposed to keep it all under wraps for sake of appearances. See you out there. Bye, Than. joke. I've had enough Stygian water, thanks. We meet again, security log. Garden's always open now. Uh. Oh, are you being serious here, pal? You brought that all this way for little old me? That's real nice of you. You're not so bad yourself, mate. Thanks for always being here for me to savagely attack without a second thought. So mama's back in town from what I hear, boyo. It's awful nice knowing I trained you well. Um, you must mean the queen, and evidently you're aware of our relationship. You keep that quiet, understand, Skelly? And thus the pupil trains the master for a change. I hear you, pal. Your secret's safe with me. It better be. A new addition to the old collection.
became stronger. What did you do, boyo? I'm done. 